Today I will be sharing about METS uh, policies, especially for the uh, policy enforcement. And this one has a subject topic of content action. And this is updated last September 4, 2023. We measure the number of pages of content such as posts, photos, videos, or comments, or accounts we take action on for going against our standards. This metric shows the, the scale of our enforcement activity. Taking action could include removing a piece, a piece of content from Facebook or Instagram. Covering photos or videos that may be disturbing to some audiences with a warning or disabling accounts. In the event we escalate content to law enforcement, we do not additionally count that and it might be tempting to read our content action metric as an indicator of how effectively we find violations of or the impact of those violations on our community. However, the volume of content we take action on is only part of the story. It does not reflect how long it took to, defect, to detect a violation or how many times users saw that violation while it was on Facebook or Instagram. This metric can go up or down due to external factors that are out of our control. As an example, consider a cyber attack during which spammers share to 10 million posts featuring the same malicious URL. After we detect the URL, we remove the 10 million posts. Content Action would report 10 million pieces of content acted on an enormous spike, but this number does not necessarily reflect that we got better at acting on spams. It reflects more that spammers decided that month to attack Facebook with unsophisticated spam that was easy to detect. Content action also does not indicate how much of that spam actually affected users. People might have seen it a few times, or a hundred, or thousand times. After the cyber attack, content action might decrease dramatically, even if our detection is moving forward and improving. Okay, that ends for this topic, the account action, which is still part of uh, METS enforcement of its policies. Now, I'll be bidding goodbye again, and thank you for listening and watching my video. Bye-bye for now.